You ever wondered why your bees are just suddenly cranky? I got a yard here that is close to town, just on the outskirts of town. And these bees are always super gentle and calm. They've got a nice little protected area here. You can see kind of a grassy area surrounded by trees. Um, these hives do really, really well as far as honey production and, and making splits off of them. But this year they've been pretty cranky every time I come up here. Um, and the kind soul that mows this grass for me also has been stung a couple of different times. Um, and I knew, I noticed the telltale signs. I tried a couple of deterrents and uh, those didn't work. And so now I have to live trap and relocate. And so this is the largest predator threat that we have to honeybees in Indiana. You can see what I have in the trap here. It's kind of shy, but that is a skunk. A good old-fashioned polecat, kind of curled in the corner. You can see they're actually very docile, very calm. This is a trick that my mentor taught to me. Jerry taught me how to trap. You just grab a sheet, drape it over top. Just basically, just don't want to make eye contact. And then you can take that trap, uh, grab the handle through the blanket, and just carry it gently off to where I'm going to relocate it. I'm actually going to take this one in the truck and drive far, far away. And uh, then whenever you get there, you can actually just kind of pick up the corner of the blanket and open the door of the trap and prop a brick in there and just kind of step away and the skunk will one waddle out and uh, head for the nearest woods. And I can show you uh, what happens here. So this is the landing board where this skunk has been working these hives so you can kind of still see some mud and all the little scratches. We had a bunch of rain uh, a couple of nights ago, but see all these little scratches in the landing board and it's dirty from mud. And then there's some bare dirt and mud underneath the hive. The skunk comes at night, they scratch on the entrance, aggravate the guard bees, the guard bees come out, the skunk grabs it in their mouth and then they kind of rub it on the ground to kill it and then they eat them. And they sit here and they eat bees and they eat bees and they eat bees. This yard has been attacked this whole summer and I've tried to let it go that actually this hive that I've got the trap in front of, it actually killed that hive. Uh, just ate so many bees the population couldn't keep up. And uh, so usually I give them a stay, but uh, in this case, time to find a new home because you can't stay here killing my bees. You're gonna have to be relocated. So there you go. That is what makes the bees cranky uh, abnormally. So have a blessed day.